Thanks, Dizzy. Three new recycling bins built and ready to be used. What's going to be recycled in the bins, Bob? There's already a bin for glass and metal and paper and wood. Oh, you can recycle much more than that, Dizzy. Like what, Bob? Hi, Bob. Wendy's given me some stuff for recycling. Oh, thanks, Muck. Good timing. Right, team. I'll show you what else can be recycled. Now, let's see what we've got. Uh, this computer's too old to be fixed. We can recycle it. Oh, yeah. I'll put it in here. This can be the electric machine recycling bin. What else, Bob? Well, clothing can be recycled. Like this old shirt. There we go. Hmm. This dish towel is too old for drying dishes, but it's just the thing for cleaning my tools. That's what recycling is all about, isn't it, Bob? Reusing things. That's right. Remember the three R's, everyone? Reduce, reuse, recycle! Can cats be recycled? Cats? What do you mean, Dizzy? Oh, Pilchard. We can't recycle you. Can you demolish it? Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> um, should I do it again, Bob? Yes, Lofty. We need to knock all of this old building down so that we can build a new extension for Mr. Adams, the architect. What's an architect? Thingy. An architect? It's somebody who decides what a building will look like and draws up the plans for how to build it. Oh, yeah! I get it! There's lots of bricks, Bob! What are we gonna do with them? Well, Muck, I'm going to reuse them to build something else. Oh, um, is that like recycling? That's right, Lofty. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hi, Bob. Just calling to say goodbye. I'm leaving for the airport in a minute. Have a great vacation, Wendy. I will. And don't take on any other jobs while I'm not here to help you. <laughs> I know what you're like, Bob. Don't worry. This extension is more than enough work. Do you want to speak to Wendy, team? Have fun on vacation, Wendy! We'll miss you! I'll miss you all, too. See you in a week. Bye! Hi, Bob. How's the work going? Oh, fine, thanks, Mr. Adams. That's great, Bob. I'm really gonna need this extra space if I win the competition. What competition? To design and plan a new town out in Sunflower Valley. Really? I used to spend a lot of time out there when I was young, camping with my brother Tom. Oh, it was great fun. Oh, then you'll love what I've got planned for it, Bob. I'll give you a sneak peek if you want. Great! Now, I built a model to show my ideas to the judges. Been working on it for weeks now. What do you think? Oh, uh, it's very nice. It's just a shock to see Sunflower Valley looking like a city. See, this part is all hotels. And there'll be restaurants, nightclubs, gyms, golf courses. Oh, seems like you've thought of everything. Oh, everything you could wish for. I'm gonna make Sunflower Valley a fantastic place for vacations. People will come from all over. Well, it's a very good model. Thank you, Bob. I better get it finished. The judging's the day after tomorrow. Um, Bob, why don't you enter that competition? 
question. I'm a builder, not an architect, Muck. Yeah, but you can think of ideas. And draw things. And you know more about building than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, team. But with Wendy on vacation, I have lots of work to do here. Well, team, the site's all cleared, so tomorrow we can start building. Have we cleared it? Can't wait for tomorrow. Uh, so what's Sunflower Valley like, Bob? You know what? I think I still have some home movies from our vacations there. Oh, can we watch them, Bob? I'll dig them out when we get home, Lofty. We had a lot of trouble with that goat. It ate everything. He's a very, very naughty goat, Bob. <laughs> flowers when they build there, Bob. Don't know, Roly. I suppose a lot of them will have to be dug up. Can't someone design something that won't spoil everything? Yeah, so the sunflowers can keep their home. Well, let's hope so. <sighs> night, night, Pilchard. Pilchard? Wow. I've got to win that competition and save Sunflower Valley. Wow. Come on, Scruffy, let go! I'll throw it for you again if you won't let me have it. <laughs> Wait for Spot! Listen, team, I have something to tell you. I had a nightmare last night, and it made me realize that I have to enter the competition. Oh, wow! That's fantastic, Bob! I knew you should. Oh, how exciting! It's not going to be easy. The deadline's tomorrow. Oh, what's first, Bob? I have some ideas, but I want to go to the library to check a few things out. What about the job, Bob? Can you guys work on your own today? The foundations need laying. I'll mark them out. Yeah, we've done that a million times. Are you sure? Of course we are, Bob. Promise you'll come and get me if you need me. No problem, Bob. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Good doggy. Oh, where's your stick gone? Oh, what do you mean you've lost it? Now I'll have to find you another one. Come on. 
Oh. <laughs> wow. Now that's clever. I never knew you could do that. Lofty, can you take these bricks back to the yard, please? Oh, um, okay, Swoop. Right, I'm just gonna drop my model off at the town hall. Ooh, let's see. But I thought the judging was tomorrow. It is, but I finished early, and I want people to have a chance to get a good look at it. There's got to be a stick somewhere. <laughs> oh, Scrofty, I don't think you should have done that. Come back here. Come back. They're not doggy sticks. Well, good luck, Mr. Adams. Thank you. How's Bob going to build a model like that by tomorrow? Oh, that looks great, Bob. Okay, now to add some houses. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't work. Sunflower Valley just doesn't look right with houses. Yeah, I see what you mean, Bob. They need to, well, blend in a little more, don't they? Hi, bird! We're trying to think of a way to build houses so they don't stick out. <laughs> Got any ideas? <laughs> no, bird. I don't think we could build nests for people to live in. <laughs> oh, I get it. You're showing me how your houses blend into where you live. Hey, look, Bob. That's clever, isn't it? Brilliant. That gives me an idea. Why don't I try to build the houses into the side of the hills? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Good one, Bob. Okay, Muck, let's dig out the foundations. Can we dig it? can't. <laughs> That's very funny. No, Scoop, we can't. Look, the markings are gone. <gasps> but... <laughs> Scruffy, drop the stick! Drop the stick! Scruffy, stop! Oh, oh, good doggy. Those pegs were marking our foundations. Uh-oh, I told you those sticks were important, Scruffy. <laughs> Scruffy says he's sorry, he just wanted to play stick. i better go and get Bob. He'll have to do them again. But Bob doesn't have time. Oh, it's all right. I know where they went. Uh, Spud's on the job. Oh, yeah. Houses with grass roofs. They're cool because they don't spoil the countryside. Oh, I know. You could reuse these bricks that we saved today to build one of those houses. <laughs> there aren't enough, Lofty. <laughs> no, but it's a good idea. We'll reuse old building materials when we can because it reduces waste. Yeah, like recycling things. Reduce, um, reuse, and... Recycle! Reduce! Reuse! Recycle! Reduce! Reuse! Recycle! Yes! That's what Sunflower Valley should be all about! Reduce! Reuse! Recycle! Piece of cake! It's just straight lines, see? Good job, Spud! <sighs> I'm so glad we didn't have to get Bob back! Say, everyone, guess what? Mom models the talk of the town hall! Are there any other entries? Not yet, so I think I'm in with a real good chance. Oh, uh, that's great. Come on, Muck, let's get digging. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew I'd find a use for this piece one day. It'll make a perfect base for my model. Well, you'll 
slow down. This is a pedestrian area, not a racetrack. Chill out, Mr. B. I wasn't going that fast. Mr. Bentley, is that you? Ah, good afternoon, Bob. I'm just escorting this young machine to the town hall. He's part of the prize for the Sunflower Valley competition. Yeah, the winner gets me, Scrambler, to drive him all around Sunflower Valley, off-roading, which is really cool. Um, nice to meet you, Scrambler. I'm Bob the Builder. Hiya, Bob the Builder. I'm entering too, you know, Mr. Bentley. But the judging is tomorrow. Are you going to get a model built and write a speech by then? Uh, a speech? Oh, yes, Bob. Each entrant has to give a speech explaining why their idea is right for Sunflower Valley. Whoa. I didn't know that. Well, we'd better leave you to it, then. Bye for now. Come along, Scrambler. Hold tight, Mr. B. Let's scram! Will you stop doing that? I'm not evil, Canoodle! Okay, Dizzy, we're gonna need lots of cement now, please. Coming right up! <laughs> Team, now we need to let the concrete set and oh, oh, that tree wasn't there before. It was on the other side. Oh no, Spud must have done it wrong. What are we gonna do? Oh, we'll have to tell Bob. We'd better tell him right now before the concrete goes hard. Hurry! <laughs> That doesn't look right. What happened? Scruffy pulled out the pegs, Bob. He was playing sticks. And Spud put them back in, and well, we thought it looked okay. Until we saw the tree. I'm really sorry, Bob. We didn't want to disturb you, and now we spoiled everything. You'll have to fix this, and then you won't have time to finish your model, and, and we'll... Whoa, Scoop, whoa. It's okay. If we work quickly, we'll be able to get the concrete up before it sets. Don't worry. <sighs> And this part in the middle is in the right place, so we can leave that. So what do we do with the concrete, Bob? We can reuse it as hardcore later. Reduce, reuse, recycle. What do you mean, Bob? It's what my plan for Sunflower Valley is all about. Come on, let's get going. Then you can get back to your model. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Oh, looks like there's a power cut. That's all we need. Now Bob has no time, no power, and no light. He'll never get finished now. The electricity company said it'll be back on soon. What are you gonna do till then, Bob? I'll just have to work like they did in the old days. By candlelight with hand tools. <laughs> in Sunflower Valley. No, there isn't, Scoop. What did people do before there was electricity? Well, in the old days, water was sometimes used to power things. Like what, Bob? Well, hot water made steam to power steam trains on the railroads. Oh, yeah! Choo-choo! <laughs> Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Can you think of any other ways of powering things? Oh, I know! I 
know? Remember the wind turbine that we put out for Farmer Pickles? Yeah, that used the wind for power. That's right. And sometimes we use the generator to power lights and tools. And some of your tools are powered by batteries. Yes, well done, all of you. See, there are lots of different ways to make power. So what are you going to use for power in Sunflower Valley? Water, wind, and sun. Stuff is already there. Yeah, reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. There's the underground houses I told you about. Oh, those are the wind turbines. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them go, Bob. Do we get to build all of this if you win, Bob? <laughs> I don't think so, Dizzy. It's a huge job. They'll get a big building company in. Hey, team, the power's back on. <laughs> Bob? Not yet. I'll just have to wake up early and finish the model and practice my speech. <sighs> night, night, Bob. Good night, Scoop. So, as well as all the hotels and leisure centers, there will be a massive shopping mall and parking lot. People from all over will arrive by the busload to this place. Because, because it'll be, be bigger, bigger and better, better than anything you've ever seen anywhere before. So, so you see, see everyone, my plans for Sunflower Valley are gonna, gonna really put it on the map. map. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Adams. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm sure you will agree that all of today's entries have been quite magnificent. magnificent. I, I think, think the, the judges, judges now have a very difficult, difficult job to do. No, wait! Just, Just a moment. moment. It looks, looks like we have a last-minute last entry from our very own Bob, Bob the Builder. Hurry up now, Bob! Uh, 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 my uh, idea for Sunflower, Sunflower Valley is very simple, simple really. really. It's, it's about, about building, building that, that works together, together with, with nature. nature. It'll, It'll be a community, community where people can work, live, and play. But, but the, the buildings, buildings will blend in with the beautiful countryside. countryside. I, I want to make use of the natural things out there and use them to make and save energy. Yes, so everything would be powered by... Wind, water, and sun. There's lots of that in Sunflower Valley. And, and we'll build using materials that are recycled. So, so waste, waste will be reduced, reduced by reusing things. things. Some of the buildings will be built into the sides of the hills. And because, because they'll, they'll be surrounded, surrounded by lots of soil, they'll be warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Which saves energy. So, so basically, basically, what, what I'm, I'm saying my idea is to... to oh, help me out here, team. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And, and uh, that's, that's it, really. really. Thank, Thank you for listening. Thank you, Bob the Builder. And without further ado, I ask the judges to go and make their decision. The winner will, of course, get to see their design built in Sunflower Valley and will also take home this exciting off-road machine. Gentlemen, after, after very, very careful, careful consideration, consideration the, the winning design, design for Sunflower Valley comes from an idea that impressed the judges with its inventiveness and forward thinking. The idea comes from... Bob the Builder! It's a vision that will build a community for the future. Blending in 
living with its surroundings and using the natural resources around it for energy and power. Congratulations, Bob. It's perfect for Sunflower Valley. I only wish I'd thought of it. Well done, Bob. Thoroughly well deserved. It gives me great pleasure to present you with Scrambler. Hello again, Bob. Good job. Thanks, Scrambler. Welcome to my team. Awesome! I think I'm going to have fun. Now, Bob, when can you start? Start? Of course. I wouldn't want your vision built by anyone else. I'm so proud of you, Bob. How many people get to design and build their very own community? You're right. But the Maris wants me to start as soon as possible. What are we going to do about all our work here in Bobsville? I'll look after things in Bobsville. But I'm going to need your help in Sunflower Valley. We're a team. I know. I'll just do it until we can find someone else to run the yard for us. Okay? Okay. Are you sure you'll be all right here? Of course I will. Stop worrying. I want you to keep Scrambler for now so that you can get to Sunflower Valley whenever you want. Thanks, Bob. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I can't wait to go off-roading in Sunflower Valley. Thanks for coming to see us off, everyone. Oh, we will miss you all. Yes, indeed, we shall. Yeah, and me too. I, I don't want you to go. Bye. Look, team, sunflowers. Well, team, this is it. Sunflower Valley. Whoa! Oh, it's so beautiful! I've never seen anything like it, Bob. I think this must be the most beautiful place in the whole world. Really, really pretty. It's going to be a big new adventure. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Mr. Adams, the architect, showed me his plans for the Sunflower Valley competition. I decided to enter too. And I won! Now the team and I are off on a brand new adventure in Sunflower Valley. So big. Rock and roll. All those different places. In all those roads. What are you worried about? It's gonna be great. Bob said people are gonna live here and work here and 
and go to school and play sports. And we're gonna build it all. Oh, yes. It's really exciting. Uh, but there's a lot to do. So, it's springtime here in Sunflower Valley, and we're gonna have an adventure. Hey, everyone. It's coming. That means we can start. Come on. A house on wheels. That's really clever. Is that where you're going to live, Bob? That's right, Dizzy. Are we there yet? I'm starving. Spud! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm still away, Spud. Come to see how you're all doing here. Oh, there's not much here, is there? Just a load of old sunflowers. But there's going to be lots here, Spud. It's going to be the best adventure ever. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy your new home, Bob. I'll be getting back to Farmer Pickles now. Bye, Bye. Travis. Bye-bye. Our very first job is to get my mobile home up off its wheels. Why's that, Bob? It's very heavy, Scoop. I don't want it to sink into the ground and get stuck. That's no good, is it? No, Lofty. We need to build a special base for it called a trailer pad. We'll have to hurry, though. It'll be dark soon. Dark? Yes, Muck. It gets really dark at night out here in the country. Well, uh, great. The dark's exciting. Uh, uh, we're gonna have a big adventure <laughs> in the dark. <laughs> There's no power yet, so we can't just turn on the lights or even the oven. Can't turn on the oven? <laughs> what about food? I have an idea. Wendy's looking after the yard in Bobsville, so it's just me and you. And we could build a campfire and have a camping adventure together. Is that a camping adventure with food, Bob? Yes, bud. Yippee! So, team, the first part of the camping adventure is collecting a load of firewood from the forest. Bet I know who'd like that job. Luck! But, um, uh, don't I need to stay here and help with that, that trailer path thing, Bob? You're not scared, are you, Muck? <laughs> not. I'll go to the big, really dark, uh, I mean, uh, exciting forest. I'll come too. Spot and Muck are on the job. I wouldn't want to go into the forest. Now, let's get started on the first building job in Sunflower Valley. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Uh, yeah, I think so. need to go into the forest. There's plenty of firewood right here. But we need really big branches for a really big fire so Bob can cook lots of yummy dinner. <laughs> Come on. bunch of firewood to cook Spuddy a yummy dinner. Bud, uh, don't we have enough now? Uh, shouldn't we be getting back? <sighs> what was that? <laughs> My tummy. All this firewood collecting's made me really hungry. You're not scared, are you, Muck? Me scared? I'm not the kind of machine that gets scared when she hears a funny noise or just because she's in the middle of a forest she's never been in before that's miles away from where she usually lives and it's getting kind of dark. Oh, good. Well then, come on. It's just some silly old bird, Mark. Oh. Uh, Spud, you do remember the way back, don't you? Of course. That's so easy. See, it's just through here. Oh. Uh, oh, no, it's all right. I remember now. It's this way. 
Ah, no. Oh, what was that? <laughs> and it's getting dark. <laughs> We're lost. Oh, Spud, I am scared. I wish I had pretended to be so brave about having an adventure. And where are Muck and Spud? It's getting really dark now. Yeah, and we can't build a campfire without wood. Look, everyone. I found enough firewood to get a fire started. This'll do as long as Muck and Spud don't take too much longer. Let's build that campfire. We'll probably be here for days and days. <gasps> Oh, stop! Bud, shh! Look, we're not lost anymore. I found my own tracks! Oh, how's that going to help? I can't eat your tracks, can I? No, Spud, but you can follow them out of the forest! Well, what are we waiting for? And it's great for making toast, but we'll need more wood soon. Hi, everyone! We got the wood! Oh, food! <laughs> Can I smell food? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here you are, Spud. Oh, thanks, Bob. Where have you two been? We were worried. Oh, it was awful. We went into the forest, and there were lots of scary noises, and then it got dark, and we got lost, and we wandered around and around for ages, and I was really worried, but Muck wasn't, and, and then she found the way out. Wow, Muck! You're really brave. I'm not. I just pretended to be, so you wouldn't think I was silly. Muck, nobody thinks you're silly. We're all a little bit scared. I've never stayed out around a campfire before. And I've never stayed in a mobile home before. Or had toast for my dinner. Where's all the toast? Spud! Oh, sorry, but I have had a very busy day. I'll make some more. Lots more. <laughs> I like that dope thing. I bet that's gonna be fun to build. Morning, team. Hi, Morning, Bob. How are you? Oh, it's so cozy in my mobile home. So you know what? 
today's the day we're gonna build you all a shelter to sleep under, too. A shelter? Just like in our old yard. Yeah, to keep us nice and snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. We'll dig out this hillside and build your shelter up against it. Then we'll put the soil back on top of it so that it looks like a hill again. Oh, wow! We're going to sleep in a hill. <laughs> First, I'm gonna take away the grass and roll it up. Then, when we finished everything, we can put it back again. That's reusing it, isn't it? Yeah, because what do we do, team? Reduce, reuse, recycle! That's right. Um, Bob, where will I go in the new shelter? Wherever you want, Dizzy. You can all pick your places. Ooh, even me? Of course, you'll go outside, Lofty, just like you did at the old yard. Oh, um, but, um, yeah, I'd like to be inside this time. Hi, you two. Hi there, Wendy. I've got a job for you, Scrambler. Aces! I need you to go to JJ's and pick up some waterproof sheeting for me. Bob's building the new shelter for the machines today, so he's going to need it. Do I get to go to Sunflower Valley? Yes. We'll take it over there later. Woohoo! That'll blow the cobwebs out of my engine! Okay, Scoop. You can dig away the hill now. No prob, Bob! And Rolly? You can roll the ground flat when Scoop's finished. Rock and roll! The rest of us are going to the new yard site. There are lots of rocks there that we can use for building the shelter. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, this is where our new yard's gonna be built. Yes, Muck. It's brilliant! Yeah, it will be. Now, we need to collect as many rocks as we can. You lofty? Oh, um, nobody, Bob. I was just, uh, thinking out loud. What were you thinking? Well, it's, um, you know the shelter? Well, I was wondering if, um, well, I was wondering if, um, if... Finished! Um... That's great, Scoop. Well done. Now, what were you saying, Lofty? No, it doesn't matter. Hello, Bob the Builder. Oh, okay. Bye. That was Wendy. They've had to go out on an urgent job and can't come over. Oh, no! I know, I know. Lofty, do you think you could go back to the yard in Bobsville and pick up the waterproof sheeting I need? Oh, uh, yeah. But, uh, okay, Bob. Thanks, Lofty. <laughs> I should have told Bob about wanting to be in the shelter. Now when I get back, it'll be too late. A bug. No, that's not it. Bug is a rug and a snug. Oh. Snug as a bug in a rug. That's it. Snug as a bug in a rug. Snug as a bug in a rug. Uh -oh. Ah! Oh, oh, you frightened me, Mr. Goat. Uh, -oh. uh don't you want to be with your sheep friends under the tree? Oh. Uh -oh. No, I want to be under the shelter with my friends, but I can't. Uh -oh. Why? Because they don't know that's what I want to do. And if I don't do something soon, I'll never have my own place in this shelter. 
Where are you going? <coughs> oh, of course. You're right, Mr. Goat. I have to ask them. If they don't hear me, I have to ask again. Hmm, I better get going. <coughs> Thanks, Mr. Goat. This is looking great, team. Okay, Dizzy, time to get mixing. Brilliant! Once you've poured the floor, we'll be ready to put the roof on. I hope Lofty's all right. I thought he'd be back by now. Which way do I go? I have to get back. I have to get back. Uh-oh. I'm sure Mr. Goat won't have time to help me, but I won't know unless I ask, will I? Um, Mr. Goat, can you show me how to get back to the main road? Uh -oh. Thanks again, Mr. Goat. You've been really, really helpful. Oh, no! Lofty, are you all right? Uh, no. Not really. I got lost and I didn't think I was going to be able to find my way back in time. And now it's all too late. Too late for what? Um, that I want to, um... I want to be in the shelter. If that's okay, Bob. Oh, Lofty. Why didn't you ask? I didn't know how. I know you've already built it. Don't worry, Lofty. We'll find a way. Really? Yeah. Of course you can be in the shelter with us, Lofty. And we left space in case Travis or Scrambler needed to stay. Didn't we, Bob? Yes. We only need to extend the roof. <laughs> yeah. Because Lofty's really, really long. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's see how we all fit. Now, your turn, Lofty. Perfect. Snug as a bug in a rug. So next time you want something, Lofty, what are you going to do? Ask for it, Bob. But there is a problem. How do we keep the grass cut? Oh, yeah! The roof grows! Oh, um, I think I know someone who can help us. I'll go and ask. Bug in a rock. 